I've got a few small ash and walnut logs here and want to cut them into boards. Therefore I've already cut away some of the machines because I only use the van saw and the lifting table to do that. I have no special trick for the first cut, so I just do that freehand. I only draw a straight line onto the logs that I can follow. And I orient the logs such that they don't want to roll away. Now if you're doing cuts on the bandsaw, you could also smile and not like me look like I hate everything. <laughs> But the freehand cuts came out nice without a twist. Also this footage right now is not sped up, that's real cutting speed. Not too bad in my opinion. To make the second cut straight and also 90 degrees to the first cut, I'm trying out the sled that I built about four years ago when I first built the bandsaw. And I think I have never used it. So time to try it out now. I only have to make sure that the whole lock overlaps the edge of the sled and I also didn't use any clamps to secure it since there's enough friction between plywood and lock and the bandsaw is just cutting downwards. Again, this footage is not sped up, but the thickness here is also not that much, so it's not really that impressive. During the last cuts I noticed that the bandsaw started to slow down a little bit during the cut, which is strange because the motor is more than powerful enough for these cuts. So I checked and of course the belt is a little bit too slack, so retightening that should solve this problem. I think I didn't really put enough thought into how to tension the belt with this motor because it's actually quite difficult. I have to pull the motor away and then tighten the bolts. A tension screw of any kind would be better. It wasn't easy but now it's better again. I also noticed that the blade started to track a little bit off center of the wheel because when resawing with this blade I give it extra blade tension so I should adjust it, but unfortunately I'm at the end of the range with this adjustment knob, so I have to make a little change there as well. Basically all I need is a longer screw. Of course I don't have one, so I just took that out of the knob. And that should also give me more adjustment, at least for now. Now it tracks in the center again. After that I could continue with cutting the logs into boards, 52 millimeters or just over 2 inches thick, which is also what I can buy from the sawmill. and then 30mm thick for the leftovers.
all together, including repairing the saw a little, took about three hours. And now this is the amount of wood that came out of that. Maybe this won't be usable lumber in the end, we'll see. But not too bad. We'll see where we can use all of this in a couple of years when it's dry. This is the amount of waste which I still need to cut into firewood size. So yeah, not too bad for my first time cutting logs into lumber. Some of you may be also interested in the little sled for the bandsaw. It's basically just a piece of plywood with a long wooden runner. I also have some slots for clamps and these bearing guides at the side. And these just hook over the edge of the table, like so, and prevent the slide from tipping down when you pull it back, like so. Also, since I pretty much always cut all the wood scraps into firewood size, I made a little mark on my bandsaw with that size, which is a third of a meter. 